Welcome to the Crazy Sam Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Do you know who Matthew McConaughey is? He's the, uh, okay, so look, the only thing I know about Matthew McConaughey is uh, high school girls. That's the only thing I oh, know. Oh, from Days and Confused? I've never seen Days and Confused. And you know, all right, all right, all right. That's, that's Isn't that Days and Confused? Yeah, it's from that too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, if you ask me to pick him out of a lineup and you put like, I don't know, Joaquin Phoenix, who was Iron Man? David Duchovny? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, if you were to put him, uh, uh, David Coveney, Robert Downey Jr., and the other guy I've named, I couldn't tell. Because we all look alike? No, it's not. I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know what any of those people look like. <laughs> you so, know who I, what Iron Man looks like? You literally know him by his face. I couldn't. I, yeah, but I wouldn't. I mean, you know, I'd be like, oh, good. Look at four Iron Men. <laughs> so, why didn't you show me four versions of Iron Man? Yeah, why well, you show me four? Um, there's so anyways, four Iron Man and a Ben Affleck. So he, he is a he is a Austin staple. He's like he's like a local Austin celebrity. I think he, he went to UT. Okay, that's he what's teaches up. at UT. Oh really? Um, I did not know that. And he teaches acting or something. That's cool. Very cool. He's been here for a very long time. He also had a pretty infamous arrest in Austin. Um, in I think it was 1999. You spend enough time anywhere, it won't happen. Let's so go. Let's I looked go. it up because I knew it had happened, and I knew that something about him being naked and getting arrested was I, kind of... I mean, I didn't know about all that, but yeah. I'm, I'm interested to hear. So I'm just going to... Uh, it said uh, at 2.30... after they, they went to his house at 2.30 in the morning after someone complained about loud music. Okay. The officer said as he approached the door... He looked through a window and saw McConaughey dancing naked and pounding on a set of bongos. Another man in the living room was clapping to the music and fully clothed. Okay. Good. I mean, that's good. He's what so, you call so he's just another in the man. living room pounding out on some bongos naked. His homeboy's just chilling on the couch clothed, just clapping along with the music. Yeah. So, like, if you were out here banging on bongos, they'd be like, you're banging on bongos naked. I'm just sitting here like... Yeah, TNT, get it. Like, I don't know why you had to inject me into your sick little fantasy, but that's weird. perfectly fine. So then they said they tried to get his attention by shining a light through the window. Did not work. So uh, they unlocked, they opened an unlocked screen door and entered the home after they saw a bong sitting on the coffee table. Nah, I was just going to say this sounds like drugs were involved too. So Yeah, and then they said like as soon as he saw there were cops in his house, he started freaking out, telling him like you can't be here um, or whatever. So then they, uh, they handcuffed him and they wrapped a long sleeve shirt around him. And they tried to put him in the, in a patrol car to which he pushed himself off the car, <laughs> causing the officer to fall to the ground. Um, what are you doing, man? He just knew he had money and he right. could act, he so could act like, the fool. It, I, what ended up happening, I think they ended up dropping it all because like he kind of just like they went into his house and all that. St I mean, granted, they saw a bong. So like you have a reason, you know, you have yeah, reasonable yeah, cause yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so, yeah, so. I, the story that I had heard is they found him wandering around naked, but he was in his own home. Whatever, if you're dancing naked, bon, pan, pounding bongos at 2.30 in the morning. You're not allowed to be naked in your own home? I can't be naked now? <laughs> is it, wait, hold on, Jonas. In 2024, is it gay to be naked? Is it gay to be this naked? Is, this is a real question. Is it gay to be naked? Where? When? I'm with just, who? Like, like, could you be, you know... Like if me and you were just hanging out, and you're like, I'm just going to... Is it cool to take my clothes off real quick? I mean, okay, so look, we already know that that's suspect. That's 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 on the, the gay meter, that's up there, all right? Right, right, right. I'm just playing drums, you're naked playing drums. We're just both naked? I'm fully clothed, you're naked playing drums. Is and that, you're hanging out on the couch? Is that a little... Is that a little... What, on the scale of, like, did he freak off... Well, hold on, like hold on, hold on. NFL. Hold on. I got, I got, I got a caveat to your sports question. Sports game. I don't, no, I don't think so. But, so like, if I'm naked. Yeah. 
what that says is I'm comfortable with my body and my sexuality. And me, you're ex- sitting there clothed, watching a naked guy play bongos. Wait a minute. Wait, you, you gonna turn this around on the guy? So what does that say about you? It says that I'm accepting enough with my own sexuality that I can be in the same room with another. So naked I can walk man. around. I can walk around the crazy town complex fully naked. You're fine with that? Yeah, and as long as as long as I don't get a boner or <laughs> right. Because I mean, once a boner happens on either party side, I feel like it's getting very close to Diddy Freak Off levels. Diddy Freak Off. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're moving away from like NBA. I don't know basketball. We're giving getting the the White Howard excluded, and we're getting the Diddy <laughs> the Freak D- Off. The Dwight Howard. We're not talking um, about him. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but what's really funny, what that made me think of, is like I used to look at Craigslist. Like, just the random personals and, like, stuff that people would post or whatever. Uh-huh. And, like, and uh, somebody showed me that they have, like, that, you know, those went away. And it was always just the most wild shit on there. People posting whatever. So, I get, they have some subreddits that are, like, dirty ATX for ATX or whatever. And yeah, there's, like, yeah, so it's basically yeah. personals. Same thing, but it's on Reddit instead of Craigslist. Yeah, yeah. And there was an Austin one. And there was an exorbitant amount of like posts where it was just like looking for J O bud, and it like the post would say like, just looking for a bud to come over and you know smoke weed and hang out naked and watch porn and J O nothing gay you know just hanging out and I'm like, that doesn't seem like something just like to do with your buddy like okay. look, looking for J- <laughs> like can we discuss J O buds? <laughs> can we discuss that? <laughs> Can we discuss this? That's, this thing? that's the whole point of me bringing it up. Like, it can was, we discuss J O buds? Can we? I don't know. The wildest shit I've ever heard. I don't know if I'm asking you, or if I'm asking myself, or if I'm asking the people listening to <laughs> All this. The- What's what is that exactly? According to this, from what I just, it's just like come over, turn on some porn, y'all you know, just hang out. And, and it's just like, what, is it like the communal thing? Is it like a, It's a social aspect? It's like chimpanzees grooming yeah, like each my, other? My thought is, it's not as simple as J.O. Buds. It's it's gonna be like, hey, we're both joe You mind if I just, like, come over and, like, help you out? Like, that's... See, now, look, wait a minute. So, wait, I thought it was innocent, alright? I thought it was just, like, male preening or something. Like, they just want to hang out and Joe together? Yeah, like, you were just hanging out and, like, you get, you know, he's over there, you're over here, and you just, you just talk That's a little bit. really weird. Like, I really like the scene. Oh, yeah, dude, me oh, too. Oh, dude, look at that and ass. you just, like, you know, you, like, walk around, and hey, you want a beer, dude? And yeah. you just kind of, like, J-N-O and while you go get the beer. You toss him one, you know, you pop the top for him, and he's J-O. I don't J-O-ing. know if I've ever been comfortable enough with any of my male friends. But what? oddly enough, hold on, the, the conversation has come up, would you have a threesome with your friend? Isn't that almost the same thing, but there's no girl involved? Uh, it is. There's definitely, it's definitely a more intimate thing to do with another guy. I in feel a room. like J.O. Buds is less intimate than a threesome. Okay, so wait, you've, you've been in a shower. Like I've a, never a had, a, I've never taken a group shower. You've no. never taken a group shower. No. Group sho- Calling it a group <laughs> shower is absolutely Tell me about your all-man insane. group shower real quick. Tell me. Absolutely fucking insane that you called it a group shower. Yeah, tell that's me about your all-male group because shower. Because that's the that? furthest thing that it is. <laughs> like, that if you actually, were in prison... Is, actually, that is the exact thing it is. No, that is not what... Look, I swear to God, Joe, this is why I say you would never survive prison. Because if you were in prison you were like, hey, guys, you ready for the group shower? You getting fucked. <laughs> I'm the one who's right. never done a group shower. Yeah, you ain't Did never you? got fucked in the ass either, but both of them are going to happen that day. <laughs> you're going to have your first group shower, and you're going to have your first butt fucking. On this, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, anyway. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Talk about your group shower. Go ahead. So, if you, I mean, it's a public shower, and I've taken public showers. It's like for gym class. Like, you go to the gym sometimes. Right, right. Well, a lot of times, like, even I think in schools now, they have more, like, stalls and stuff. Yeah, I don't think they have the they, traditional just, like, room with 19 right. shower well, heads hey, anymore. Hey, yo, look, back in my day, you saw your classmates winky, all right? I'm sorry. That's just the way it rolled yeah, back, yeah. In, back, in, back in our day. So, it was never really a big deal. Um... So I don't really I, I don't know is that yeah, I mean, that's around, that's kind of like the well, same I mean, thing. You go to the YMCA, like I've been to the YMCA. You go into the steam room. Yeah, 
sometimes people come in naked. Like you're in the locker room, they're walking around naked. Okay, like, it's so all that's kinda... it's not a big deal. You go to the gym. No, I mean, like, would around. I prefer to not be around a bunch so, of naked dudes? So yeah, but do what I if, care? No. What if like just you know both of the guys were just jacking it, dude? Just. Is that, I feel like that crosses a line. Okay, so what the real issue is is that everybody feels like J.O. Buds is always going to divulge into something a little bit more. Like, oh, hey, it's nefarious. There's let's not. J each other off. It's a J-O-O. No, a J-E-O. J each other off, yes. And then we're going to... J-E-O-O. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> J-E-L Hey guys looking for J-E-E-E-O yeah. O-O-O-O So yeah. yeah I don't know Dude it's, I don't know I don't understand what makes it, Look I feel like Okay so J-O buds definitely I gay. feel like a straight man is not going to ask for a J-O bud on the internet No No You're at least bisexual if you're asking for a J-O bud Cause what's What does it matter I can just Joe by myself. Why do I need a stranger bud to come hang out and do it with me? What if they're trans? Go for it. Whatever. And so wait, if they're trans, is it automatic? Is it make it straight? Because they women. I don't. They're, that's a woman that you JOing with. It's a woman JO bud. No, it's a man. No, it's a trans woman. That's Which a is wo a man. <laughs> <laughs> and. You can take that take if you want. They say they're women. I believe them. No, no, no. Trans. You're saying. Oh, you're saying a trans woman wants. I thought you meant a trans. I thought you meant a woman transitioning to a man. No, no, no. Let your. Well, I was confused. Yeah, what okay, you meant. so which one? Okay, so which one's better? You gotta have a jo bud. Do you want a trans woman who was, you know, a a, a man who has decided that they would like to live the rest of their life as a woman? Yeah. And I respect their choice. Or would you rather have a trans man? Yeah, you said trans man. Which one would you rather a trans have? Trans man. Wait a minute. I'd rather have a trans man. You want to? So you want a jo with a dude? No, a trans man is a is a woman transitioning into a man. Maybe our maybe our but yeah, but they look like. I mean, you basically got a dude who looked like me with a vagina. Is that what you want? You want me in the room with you when you? Is it about the parts or is it about what they look like? Because because they could just they could just have a short haircut. Or would you rather have somebody who looks like Jennifer Lawrence, but they just got a D? <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you want me or do you want Jennifer Lawrence in there with I, I you? Can't, I can't answer. Yeah, that. it's a hard one, right? Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. a hard one. Well, like if you, you just look them in the, the eye, man, dude, you can probably I get hope it off. All trans men and trans women have Joe buds. I agree. I will take either or. Either or. Yep. If it's Jennifer Lawrence, I'm looking as her in the as eye. Got a nice. I'm just never of... looking below her neckline. <laughs> we gonna get it off somehow. Can you? Put, right? Can you put? No pun intended. <laughs> Uh, can you put a sheet over your laps just so I can sit there? <laughs> no, no friendly fire, Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.